Number 15. Become researches. Google tends to show popular and updated pages on top of its results page, but if pass beyond the first and the second pages, you'll find an old pages where you might find what you needed for your research project. You can check the cache version of the sites which Google collects while it searches and downloads from the net. The cache version is the old version of the page and you'll find content there even if the current version of the page has been changed, like news site who took off the original report. Okay, let's uh, see if I have something to show you about this. Let's go to ABC News. ABCnews.com. All right. Um, well, let's take the other one here. ABC Top Stories. Oops. Let's head back. You can see here's a link ABC News and a cache version. Now let's see if it's different. All right, you can see this is the page of ABC News. Um, just only a few pictures here. All right, you can see some uh, guy over here and two pictures, a microscope and a couple here. And um, now let me go back and see the cached version. Now the cached version comes from Google. Well, obviously it's the same right now, but you can find a few times old versions of um, articles here that uh, Google was indexed and uh, if you missed some report and you want to grab it back you can uh, grab it from this place here you can see also when Google was took a snapshot of that page and uh, link back to the current page also um, you can see that Google highlights the um, the term I was uh, typing at the search box and show it throughout the page. Notice there I wrote ABC, so it's showing me ABC, but if you wanted to look for something else, you can do that as well. All right. <clears throat> Number 16, learn and educate. Serious researchers can get to thousands of science and academic magazines via Google Scholar. Simply click a term in the search box in scholargoogle.com to get a summary of articles that were published. Okay, um, let's go to Google Scholar. Here it is, and uh, right, let me type something from here, like uh, medical, I know, uh, philosophy. Let's see what it gets. All right, there are results from medical philosophy. Um, Okay, you can uh, see a bunch of uh, results in here related to the term research and uh, a few pages that uh, can you can go and uh, check out the, the results here for that term. All right. Next thing is number 17. Go to the magical tilt journey. Now, what the hell is this? <laughs> the tilt sign on the upper left corner of your keyboard is very useful in searches on Google. 
Type it before an English word without a space so Google will search pages including this term and its synonym words. Now, this is really neat uh, because if I type for instance tilt auto then all the oops sorry um, I wanted to write tilt auto this way. Okay, now all the synonyms of auto will come up like cars. Okay, like um, what else? Except car, probably automobiles. Yeah, automotive. Okay, uh, trucks, SUVs. Mm. And uh, and etc. and etc. You you get the idea here. If 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 you want to uh, search for similar words, that's the way to do it. Let's try automotive. It's another example. Yeah, it's work also for this term as well. Cars, uh, auto dealer, automotive. Um, Rocks and etc. and etc. All right. Next thing, number 18. If you want to compress more results on every page, the link preferences on the right side of search box is your ticket to change many search definitions on Google. You can increase the number of the results per page, languages. Disable the query suggestions and more. Now let me show you where this is located. Right here on the right side of the search box, you press preferences and you can uh, change the in interface languages, the search languages, and here you can uh, change the number of the results you get for every page. Okay, the filter is 10, you can make it 20, 30, 50, and 100. And you can also disable the query suggestions so it won't pop up when you start to uh, fill the search box with a term. All right. The next thing, number 19, translate to other languages. The link language tools on the right side of the search box use, uses the Google Automatic Translation Service and other languages options. From this page you can translate text to different kinds of languages to transla or translate website by typing its address. This is another uh, cool language tools here. Alright, if I search um, say uh, let's write uh, hello from uh, let's say from English to Hebrew let's see what we get And obviously it gives the Hebrew interjection here. Um, let's try to a different uh, different language like uh, German. Translate. Hello. Okay. Hello. Let's try with uh, goodbye. Auf Wiedersehen. Yeah, it's work. So uh, that's a great and fast way to uh, to use a translator without having a translator on your computer. So use it wisely. Uh, another uh, thing I mentioned earlier is the the way the the uh, the ability to translate a web page. If you type the address of your web page and choose the uh, 
language you want to translate to, Google will translate it for you. Obviously, it works better on European languages uh, rather than uh, Middle Eastern or, I guess, Asian um, website, but it's it's a great tool uh, anyhow, so you can use it as well.